Charles Darwin was an English naturalist best known for his discoveries in relation to adaptation and descent, as well as forming his own theory of evolution. Darwin's theory of evolution was a general overview of how life seems to have adapted over time. Included in this theory are the multiple facets of natural selection, which is a process where organisms are better adapted to their environment and survive and thrive as a population. Natural selection contains numerous facets, including adaptation, the struggle for existence, natural variation, descent with modification, and survival of the fittest. Let's take a closer look into the evolution of a species, specifically the hedgehog. And no, not Sonic, even though he is cooler. Hedgehogs are small porcupine-like creatures that fit into the palm of your hand. They can be found all over the world in various environments, the most popular being grassy, wooded areas as well as sandy deserts. The very first evidence of hedgehogs even existing comes in the form of a small fossil found in British Columbia that dates back to 2 million years old. It was a mere 2 inches in size, meaning that as far as evolving goes, hedgehogs sure have gotten larger over time, even if it's just little by little. Hedgehogs are members of this family. Some of his ancestors include Little Estes, the Dino Galarix, and a bunch of other ones I can't pronounce. These are their ancestors and descendants. This is where most of their initial traits come from. As time has passed, hedgehogs have evolved from their bristly, furry exterior, just like the one on the fossil, into an armor-like shield of spines. These spines appear on a hedgehog when they're feeling threatened or like they're about to fall. They're only dangerous if the hedgehog is curled. Hedgehogs tend to be more active at night, and this is due to the descent with modification. Hedgehogs adapt to being awake at night because they're less likely to run into issues with predators. This is a behavioral modification. Hedgehogs have the same homologous structures as moles and other small mammals, meaning that they have a similarity in embryology. Well, of course, these are just the basics. In case you'd like to poke around in my understanding of evolution, sources will be listed in the following frame. Catch you later!